Jim Barry is here. I thought you were already off to San Francisco. You're trying to get rid of me? No. <laughs> what you got going? Hey, listen, we got to hang around here. I talked to uh, Dolphin coach Don Shula today, former Dolphin coach Don Shula. Legendary. Absolutely. So excited that Mike Shula is yeah. going to be in the Super Bowl, coaching the Carolina Panthers and their offense. But first, we got to talk about the current Dolphins. Their brain trust showing off today, and they hope this new set of coaches can solve some old problems. Clyde Christensen is the new offensive coordinator brought in from Indianapolis. Meanwhile, his defensive counterpart, Vance Joseph, comes from Cincinnati. One inherits a defense that gave up a few too many big plays. Meantime, the other, an offense that not produce enough of them. Both those sound ready to dive into work. I wasn't interested in just going and coordinating somewhere for the title. It was more of what, what is the role? What is the, what is the responsibility? My mentors, Wade Phillips, uh, Gary Kubiak, those guys, you know, years ago have kind of informed me I was ready for the job. So that, that gives you confidence when, you're, when your uh, mentors kind of give you that, uh, that assurance. Well, at the Australian Open, Roger Federer again befuddled by Novak Djokovic. Near court, Federer takes the net, but it's Djokovic who takes the point. He dominates the first two sets. Federer would take the third and tries to put up a fight. Look at this terrific point. Federer might be the best ever. Great shot. Wow. But Djokovic looks like the best right now. He prevails in four sets and will face either Andy Murray or Miles Ronich in the final. The Heat's Chris Bosch is named an All-Star Reserve. He'll join teammate Dwayne Wade at the NBA All-Star Game in a couple of weeks in Toronto. Meantime, Golden State's Clay Thompson will also be at that party. He and Steph Curry might be the best shooting backcourt ever. Thompson last night blitzes Dallas, burying seven threes on his way to a 45-point night. There's Curry setting him up. He's wide open, and you can count that. These guys shoot threes like they're layups as they beat the Mavs by 20. Golden State's last home loss was... A year ago, they have won 40 straight at home. Wow. Well, on NBA All-Star Weekend, Shaquille O'Neal should go onto the ballot for the Basketball Hall of Fame. Last night on Late Night TV, Shaq is surprised, though, by another honor. The, you, know, you see what this is right now, what I'm showing you? Yes. This is, and you don't know about this, this is a surprise to you. The Lakers asked me to mention it. This is the statue of you there putting up at the Lakers. <laughs> Seriously, I swear to God. <laughs> He's genuinely surprised, but it is the real deal. And unfortunately, this just coming down. Calgary Flames defenseman Dennis Weidman suspended. Pending a hearing next week, he could be suspended 20 games for that takedown of the official in a game last night. He claimed it was an accident, said he apologized, but judging by the video, it looked pretty intentional. Calgary lost the game, by the way, 2-1. to one. That is sports. More news right after this.